This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. We're, We're still on holidays, on holidays. Yeah. but there's podcasts galore because mm-hmm. we give and we give and we give. That's right, everyone. This is the Bubble and Squeak <laughs> podcast. What is Bubble and Squeak, by the way? Is it like a mash, is mashed potato yeah, part of bubble potato, and squeak? Yeah, I think mashed potato in it. Isn't it something to do with the dinner the night before yeah. and then yes, they whack egg and mashed potato in with it and, and then you fry it up. Fry it up in the pan. Anyway, yep. that's what this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's tasty. It fills a hole. Enjoy. The one, the only, mm. Ross Noble. It's lovely to be here. It's lovely to be heralded in mm. by the yes. uh, by mm. the uh, mm. the brass there, and also by the the, the temptation of pork. <laughs> that very much it caught me by surprise. You're that. welcome. I did. Got us. Mm. Yum. Is, is that so? One of your sponsors. I, I'm not because yeah. I was. So, I just heard the word pork, and I, I and I was lost. Yeah. Mm. Is is one of your sponsors? Is that pork? Is that the pork? The, pork. The, pork. It's not a specific. No just, pork. 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 Yeah. Pork. Yeah. Next week we're we're sponsored by Fondled. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Pork. I don't know where great. they get their money from. Yeah. But anyway, we'll so take it. From Big Pork. Big That's pork. where they get their number from. <laughs> 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 they get their money from Big Pork. Um, so yeah. So give give, give pork hey, a try. Get hey, some pork I on your fork. You might what, say. Uh, it's not the only um. That's not the only uh, yes, change animal. here. As you know, we are now powered by pork. This show. Mm. But um, <laughs> but what have you noticed about the show now since you, you've been away? You, you know what? It's it's incredible. I've walked in here yeah. and you've you you're all toned yeah mm. you've got a tan. athletes yeah i don't know how real it is but it's, <laughs> <laughs> and we've got yeah. leg squats you didn't even said hello you just yes, that's quite, yes. what a great way you of walk straight uh, into having to do straight, a, yeah, a 45 all, second wall squat yeah squatting on the walls mm. and then i walked in you went you've got to do this i went okay you didn't even get a now, hello i'll be honest with you it was it was a little bit touch and go not the, the leg strength for me but i'll be honest with you i put one of these uh you know these like hydrolate things you know oh yeah yeah yes. yeah i yeah. put one of them and i'll be honest it gives me a bit of gas oh. <laughs> and when i came in and you went you need to assume a squatting position i thought oh i hope there's some if i let if i let out a bit in fact when i was coming up in the lift <laughs> yes. right the lift here there's a business next door like a carbon neutral have you seen this place yeah. there's yeah. a carbon carbon neutral place and i thought oh i'm about to get in a lift here with somebody else i thought i'll just let a little bit of gas out <laughs> just before i get in the lift just yes. to be on the safe side so dangerous. Just for, and i let a bit and and as i did it yeah. i looked at the sign and it said Turning emissions into trees. <laughs> like, oh, no. like, I, straight away I, in the I, lift? I, I can't do that. <laughs> Imagine that. If you get in, it's a special magic lift and you get in and you do a fart and a bit of shrubbery comes out. <laughs> I, 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 can't, I can't have that. The Sitka it's spruce. so good for the environment. <laughs> exactly. Oh. People just, uh, yeah, yeah. small saplings well, emerging from mm. the buttocks. So yeah. while he was doing yes. his leg squats, mm-hmm. we, looked, we looked down. You, the calf muscles <laughs> on right. Ross Noble, uh, Sean. They're amazing, and Thank he's you. wearing Hocker One um, marathon yeah, running yeah. shoes. So he's got something going on with yeah. having calves like that. No, your calves like... are the size of my thighs. Are you are you going to the Olympics next? What year? is yeah, happening, happening here? You know what? When I said, "Do you talk about fitness on the radio?" and you were like, "No, we no. don't go on about it." And then the mics have come on, <laughs> Wait, and you go, "What's happening here?" What? You look like a man who should be having a heart attack. <laughs> You look like somebody who should not be allowed to walk down the street. Yeah, but we don't. It's just jarring. You remember the show Super Grand? You never expected her to have so much strength. Mm. And the same as you. It was filmed in my hometown, Super Grand. It was filmed filmed in Tynemouth down the coast. But yeah, Super Grand was. uh, Yeah, and Billy Billy Connolly sang the theme. Yeah, Yeah. I think we've got got the theme in Uh, there. Billy Connolly was actually. um, Super Grand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, she makes them look like, like a bunch, bunch of fa- fairies. She's got more fun than you and Harry. Watch out. Have look out. It's super, super grand. grand. Yeah. I stand back, Superman. I, I stand Spider Man. Oh, yeah. Cat and Robin, too. Do you want to be your brother? Bruce A. Baracus. I got a match for you. She, she makes, makes them, them, and then so yeah. on yes. and so forth. Yeah. So oh, never, never question me. Nineteen eighties children's TV. TV. Things, <laughs> I know. Yes. And look what yes. kids have got now. And we had Super Grand. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. Uh, in fact, do you, do you remember she had that bike? Yes. Yeah. yeah she yes. had that bike that used yeah. to fly. Yeah. Yes. And after the series finished, I think it's still there. They hung it in a church. Oh. 
In a um, church? Yeah, the, the church became like a sort of indoor market and Supergrand's bike was wow. from the, the church there. Remember how Is wrong... anyone still listening to this? Yeah, this yeah, isn't a real show. Remember how wrong um, uh, TV was when we were kids? Um, uh, was it Monkey Magic? Remember Monkey Magic? Yeah. Tripitaka. Uh, but yes. he, he Sandy. See, it was called Monkey. Yes, Monkey. Yeah. Monkey. Yes, Monkey. But because it, it went Monkey Magic. Yeah. Yeah. People we'll go Monkey Magic. Mm. It says Monkey mm. Magic. Well, they, they yeah. used to say all the time, Monkey would say, Pigsy, you poofed her. No. Was, yes. No. Yes. Yes. Literally. Yes. That's, that, and none of us blinked an eye when we were younger. No, no it's perfectly normal. Hey, you know what? While you're what? in here, I'm, I'm interested to find out your take on a story that's sweeping the nation at the moment. All right. Oh. The Mushroom, mushroom. Cook. The mushroom cook lady. Allegedly. Right. Well, yes. here's the thing. Oh, no, she no, cooked it's the actually, mushroom cook. It's, it's yeah. an alleged crime. Yeah, yes. The, uh, well, it was on, I saw, uh, it was on one of the, the uh, British news channels. Yeah. I like to keep on what's going on in the UK. Yeah. And it, the, the tagline was mushroom mystery. Yes. That's what they call that it. That doesn't it? The mushroom mystery. Well, it, it, funny enough, I am across this because the mushroom, the, the incident, yes. it happened not far from where I live. Oh, oh right. Yeah. So, you know, it's yeah. local news. News. Yeah, and yeah, we got so Lee and oh, Gather, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, and it's just not, yeah. not far away at all. And I went, Oh, aye, aye, this is a bit of local mushroom news. Been to the Aldi <laughs> and Lee and Gather, <laughs> have you? Mm, that was a good yeah. day, actually. The, On your um, way to Inverloch, yeah. is that where you're going? I was or? coming back from Mowie. Oh, oh. Okay. what the hell were you doing yeah, in Mowie? We went Maui. to the Mowie no, races. Nobody goes to Mowie, do they? Yeah, someone the, told me that the Mowie uh, crayfish is actually a spring roll, that's what they yeah. call it. Yeah, Mowie's the collie of Victoria. I mean, everybody for reference. Very, I mean, when you say. Murray races. I mean, that is basically you getting chased out of town. I'm guessing, <laughs> and that's because you are probably wearing enclosed shoes. I know. <laughs> Who does he think he is? It's, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I do like the. I yeah. love the mushroom mystery. I like the fact that she's. Uh, there's a lot of inconsistencies. Isn't there? there? There's a lot of because people. The police are saying at the very at, at, at the bottom of everything. This could just be a very innocent thing. But I tell you what, I don't think, like people she, every, every step it's, is a misstep from her. Yeah. Her trying to act innocent because you're not doing you're doing the opposite of that. But maybe that's a double double. Drop. Maybe yeah, maybe yeah. she's a... so clever. Yeah, because nowadays people have so much access to true crime podcasts that you sort of you know she might not she might have a plan. Well, this I mean you've hit the nail on the head here. That's the biggest thing about this is. Now people have seen, you know, like with these true crime podcasts, it's happened with our teacher's pet. Yes. yes. You know, so like the, I think the brothers now being yes. implicated. Mm. People listen to these things, they get invested in it. Everybody, the Golden State yep. Killer, they figure yeah. out, everyone yep. jumps on it. I think what's going to happen, whether this woman's guilty or not, right? I think what's going to happen is people are going to listen to this. Yes. They're going to hang on a second. There's a mushroom based crime in my town. Oh, okay. And then it's going to be a whole. Uh, in fact, I say we start it here. We've got the equipment. Yes. yes. Mushroom based crimes. Yes. And we that's going I imagine that podcast state, like, at the end of every episode is a recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll go with oh. that face. A, yeah. a killer recipe. A killer recipe. Yeah, yeah, that's what we call them. Yeah. Kill a killer recipe. Today's killer the... recipe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's my. Mag- I mean, it doesn't. Ne- it doesn't necessarily have to be the. Uh, yeah, forget the... about your pork sponsor. You want big mushrooms. <laughs> Get the big mushroom. I don't on. think this is doing great great work for the mushroom industry, though, is it? Yeah, but the, like, the, the fact that mushrooms have to... Oh, yeah, they've got they to turn to, it around. They've got to grow in the dark. Yeah, yes. so Like dark tales of mushrooms. Oh, yes. oh what are they doing? Yeah. What are they playing? Fiendish Shut. fungi. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a <laughs> thing. This is good. Because I'm, sure, I'm sure there's not just, not just like, obviously this is a poisoning crime involving the mushrooms. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> what? Allegedly. We have to oh, say that. Sorry. Yeah. We've done legal yes. training. I said crime, didn't I? Mm. Yes, sorry. Alleged crime. Yeah. Sorry. Incident. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Hold on, saved it. This <laughs> is... Saved it. Uh, um, but hang on. Like, remember that incident where that guy fell on my knife repeatedly? <laughs> 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 no, but hang on. If the, if the police are investigating, yeah. uh, have, uh, do they... Oh, they're investigating. They're to investigating. See if there's, a there's been no charges. They're just they're, there's a lot yes. of information going around. They're saying that every time she surrenders a statement or whatever, he's if everything comes out of her mouth. Oh, she does is not helpful. <laughs> they're saying, yeah, they have they're saying it's muddying it. It's it's mate. It's confusing it and all that it, sort of stuff. The so. police are actually saying, please stop talking. Yeah, <laughs> this is just paperwork for us. But there's got to be other crimes involving mushrooms. 
Don't you think? You see what I mean? They'd not that that's to. a crime. No, it's an incident. No, there must be incident, other incidents. Mushroom based incidents. Of, of people dying, it, like mushrooms falling on them. <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> slipping like, slipping on a toadstool and whacking your head. Oh, Unless you're a Smurf, I don't think you're going to be in danger of... <laughs> All right, I'm suggesting a large amount of mushrooms. Oh, oh, like okay. one mushroom. uh, so not one giant not, mushroom. Just not one Many button on. mushrooms. It's be, like being hit with a, a hell of a lot of pillows. It's not going to do anything to you. Like how many of the feathers mushrooms you have experience with? I mean, look, there's certain mushrooms that cause a hallucinogenic effect. There's got to be some sort. There's got to be. Some yeah. kind of incident involving somebody who had eaten the wrong sort of mushroom, mm. thought something was happening, it wasn't happening. Yep. Make sure you tune in to our mushroom based <laughs> podcast. It will be happening. See? It's a thing. It is a it, thing. If you think to yourself, there is not that every type of podcast has been done. Mm. Yes. No, my friends, there's always new ones you can do. This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat, and Sean. We're joined by West Coast Eagles Premiership player Will Schofield. He's the KFC Super Coach at AFL Ambassador Did this he year. Bring but a cheeky bucket here. in with him or what? He's coming here teeing off about the radio oh, station straight so off. So we're a bit off, we're a bit off guard. So, Scotty, what did you say? I said, what a magnificent building. <laughs> no. I'm so impressed. No, I, a I radio said, station that Kings would only be in. I said, well, what do you think about this? And he goes, oh, it's just another radio station, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and um, how around. long was your football career for? <laughs> Uh, 14 years, and I'm just another footballer, to be honest. If we're describing things and how they look, yep. if you describe it as a footballer, it'd be like, no, oh, no, it's like, you yeah. could be the poster boy for Jim's mowing. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, you've never been in Nova your entire football that's, career. That's the comment I made. Like, I've, I was here 15 years, well, never, that's not Masto, one invite. Masto kind Masto, of yeah, monopolised yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We had when he used to come in here, right, I used to yeah, listen to you guys yeah, when Masto was yeah. on, right? Oh, but oh, only when Masto was on. All the time, all the time. He used to be in here jingling his keys around and be talking. Twirling this, he's he was always doing Can I tell you what he'd do? He's on the paper. He'd always grab my paper and draw 1,000 doodles on it. We don't mean doodles, we mean doodles. I was sitting next to him in a footy club for I know, it was all over my <laughs> journals and things I like that. He's club. just the same. We got very good at it, didn't he? Yeah, <laughs> uh, Scoey, on that, um, we also had uh, Luke Shuey, who started off yeah, here for, for a short time. And when we had this, like, we had like this witch doctor lady who came in. She was a white feathered witch or mm. something. Because um, he kept getting injured, right? Yeah. at the time so we thought this oh, would help so, so she yes. came in and did like this yeah. thing around but him we she's, didn't got, realize. she's gone well yeah, then yeah. Isn't she? so we, we didn't realise right so we just thought this witch is going to come in and, and you know like 30 it'll, seconds it'll be a bit, bit funny anyway around. next minute she's covered him in smoke and she's throwing chicken blood in his face <laughs> and, like everything like that and you can just tell like, and it's going forever and he's just so <laughs> awkward anyway what happened afterwards Sean well he never came back the following year <laughs> <laughs> And we lost him. We're, all of a sudden, we're, we know that he went to an opposition radio. So and like, met his wife. Met? So, yeah. I was fines master at the football club. Yes. And I believe, look, if my memory serves me correct, I think he and Ryan Crowley did a love song uh, ballad together. Yes. And I and and it had to be removed. There was a few things on social media. The club wasn't happy. And I got the audio and I played it in fines oh. for around 12 months. Oh, every, every, <laughs> every, every single fine session. I love it. Like, I, love I, will, it. I will always love you. Or It was like for Valentine's Day or something. It was crazy. Does that sound right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it does. No, no, it sounds very wrong. That's yeah. what it sounds like. <laughs> now, of course, we've got the governor who's part of our team as of yes. a couple of seasons now, how do you feel about the governor? Oh, I feel great about the governor. Well, he's, he's, in my, he's in my super coach team. I mean, yeah, that's okay. why I'm here, but he's in, he's in my But he's expensive. Team. So do you got to look for someone else? Yeah, but he's good. That's why he's expensive. Mm, you mm, know how mm, things work. If you pay money, you get yeah. the best. He's so, got yeah. pretty brittle ribs, though. Yeah, how do you... There's a couple of... Bu- well, no. Well, he's he's dishing out rib break. He broke Travis Boak's pretty much spine on the yeah. weekend in the preseason game. Yeah, so, smashed him, didn't he? Yeah, absolutely smashed him. So, yeah, Gov's in. Um, we've got a couple of bargains. Nat Fife's in my team. Elliot Yo's in my team. These sorts of guys, you got to get them in. I'm They're very, I'm very though, West Australian obviously. biased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, How I much time do you put into Supercoach? Because uh, you see people who just really pour over it and it is the focus of their week. Is that you? I've been playing another type of fantasy football for about 15 years, mm-hmm. right? So, oh, who would you who would you date? Something, and and got, and I, no, and <laughs> that's I, a it, it's a name that I cannot say. But now but, I'm over at Supercoach. Yeah. Right. Ambassador for Supercoach. I am. I'm just putting all of my time and effort yeah. over into Supercoach. Yeah. So how long? So that was that other fantasy. Friend, I'll say it. it's from Pornhub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just all feet. 
it. Huh? It was amazing. <laughs> and the things he has them doing on that football field, Sean, is unbelievable. Mm, I've seen Very some good. of them. <laughs> Sky, one of the great questions I want to ask you is that um, we'll decide if it's being, great. being sponsored by KFC, is this unlimited food that you can uh, grasp onto at some stage going through a drive through I mean, how do I look? Do I look? Do no, I you haven't looked like, like you've attacked a full Zinger burger I, I'm no, gonna, scenario. I've got to be honest. So over my podcast, Back Chat, mm. with Sean mm. Max being on, one of the yeah. great episodes I would know I haven't been invited. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, keep going. You've got to play sport so to get on there, mate. Yeah. Yeah. I played volleyball in high school, so... <laughs> 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 hey, you want to come on? I'll, I'll interview you. Don't worry about that. He's got another great story about a gym. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Back yeah. chat's doing fat chat at the moment, right? Oh, yeah. So oh. I've, I've had a good look at myself on the scales. Not looking good, right? So I used to play at about 97, 98 kilos. What are you now? I, and that's that's carbo loaded. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. 108 about three weeks ago. So I was 10 kilos over my so plane. So you put on your muscle. tall. Is that what you're muscle, saying? Muscle, correct. All KFC muscle. muscle. Yeah. Yes. yes. But fat chat, we just talk about what it's how bloody hard it is to keep weight off in this real life that you don't get to get paid. To and you want Sean to come back on that again? Is well, what no, saying. no. I'm, all I'm saying is KFC has been very good to me over the last <laughs> six months or so, and I'm doing my best. I've lost five kilos in three weeks. Oh, That's well done! Great. But it's really great to hear you got a great relationship with KFC. Weird that you didn't come in with any. Mm, is that mm. not strange? That's what strange. Early? That's no, strange. No, no, not are you us. joking? This is like lunchtime for us. Are so. you? Jo- we'll smash seven Zinger burgers right now. <laughs> Right now, right in your face. <laughs> and I'll drink a bucket of their gravy. <laughs> I'll pour oh, it over your head like Gatorade in a sporting gravy. challenge. Gravy's oh, the best. Gravy. Potato and gravy at KFC used to make me go through, uh, go to every time. I could just go down there and just get a large potato and gravy and just knock that off with those yeah. plastic spoons. Easy done. Hey, I want to know how much um, putting on weight after the game gets in your head because Sean does a thing called yes. cry, um, cry, um, cry eating. So right. and secret eating as well. Secret just eating. So he's a secret <laughs> eating is a cry eater. So so he'll he'll eat something and then he'll cry. run around the box crying. <laughs> yes, I flog myself. To... No, that's a different thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's the point. I'll fancy stuff. Ah, I think it's it's bloody hard. Yeah. It's, I think it's it's. You hard. know why? You know why? Well, because you're not getting paid to exercise and not anymore. just that, yeah. not just that. This is, and I've worked it out, which is why it's quite detrimental to athletes. Is because you guys have had athletes' bodies where everyone's going, oh, oh God, yeah. look how amazing 100%. they look. And then for you not to have it, everyone will always look at you and go, oh, mm. <laughs> oh that's not panned out too well, has it? I have to Whereas to have never had an athlete's body, I'm only going to ever look better. Yeah, cool. <laughs> oh, you have to ask my wife about you know the athlete's body. I don't know if I've ever been that ripped guy walking around the club. I've never yeah. been sure. I've never been Sean McManus. You know, mm. I've never done that. No, because you've got a premiership. Um, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> holy, holy moly. That was a low one. But accurate. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah, that was. I mean, if we're talking about West Coast and Fremantle's yeah. chances this year, though. You would mm. say Fremantle has a better chance of winning a premiership. Oh, you would, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. You, over the last couple of years, you would say so. I would think that it was going to be a tough year for West Coast, but a lot of people are up and about over the fact that a lot of their experienced players are available and they've got some young blood coming well, through. Where, so where do you sit? You've had a... West Coast at, will play finals. Um, that's a big call. Yeah, no, West, West, West Coast will play finals. Uh, I, this got tw- year? Are you talking got, about this year? Oh, yeah, this year. Oh, no, at some point in time, <laughs> in a couple of decades. No, they've got, they've got 12 new players back in their side. They've got six guys, all Australians, best and fairest, that played under 10 games, and yeah. they've got new guys. They're, they're just a new team. You can't actually look at last year. Fremantle, on the other hand, mm. they'll be top four. They'll challenge for a premiership. Flag medal. That's real. Flag oh, medal. You're, that's real. You're really? Flag, oh, mate. Dusting it off again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flag, oh, absolutely. Are you, or are you doing what lots oh. of West Coast people like to do and just sort of build up their hopes no, and no. then wait for them to crash? <laughs> I've actually got lots of merch at home that um, we made a lot of flag medal merch last year. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, trying yeah. to flog yeah. it off. <laughs> <laughs> you you need need to get <laughs> How's your business going? Good. Um, uh, Back Chat is my business. That's my podcast. And yeah. I'm full time media now, so working yeah. across mm. Fox Footy and, and, and interviewing greats of the game over here in WA. It's been good. Was um, that hard to carve out what you're going to do after football? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I was, I was doing podcasts when I was playing footy, um, yeah. Which, yeah. which doesn't make a lot of money as a footballer because you're getting paid to play football. Yeah. So, sort of, yeah. you know, make money and make a living out of it. you got to grind pretty hard with sponsors and yeah. um, getting the right people on. And, you know, we've got, a, we've got a decent team behind us doing stuff with Back Chat now, but. Kind of. You look around media, right? You guys are, I think, you're probably the only people in the entirety of the media world that just do one type of media. If you look across media, Hmm. 
You can even, download our podcast. Even, no, like. but even <laughs> even the best football callers in the business, Brian Taylor, yep. Yep. they write articles. They're on TV. There's yep. like TV. I've got to call them in the Sunday time. Settle down. There we go. <laughs> oh, the rest of us, I, we it is a co- to do anything. It's <laughs> a compliment to you guys. Like, I, I think yeah. media is brutal. Like, yeah. you, there's not oh, many jobs going it's out fickle. there yeah. where you just do radio yeah. or you just yeah. do newspaper or and you just do yeah, TV. To so, do it for a while as well. So, yeah, I I wrote 120 articles last year for Code Sports because I was trying to get paid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doing, yeah. You know, wow. Writing and then um, podcasts. Do you get paid per word or paid per article? Um, uh, no comment. I don't know. Uh, no, per article. Per article. Yeah. There's so, usually so a word I submit, rate submitted a couple, yeah. Submitted a couple of three word articles. Got paid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 30 I'll cents. Is I will I, that's, um, I've got nothing. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were involved with Masto selling boots for a yeah, while. Yeah, we'll sell, yeah. We'll sell, yeah, Heroes and Comrades. Yes. We had um, Coffee Cheaters, which you guys yes. have the ground. No. But the, we, we need to bring Coffee Cheaters Coffee back. Cheaters yeah. was a big deal, wasn't well, it? Well, we got you up to 10,000 and Correct. then you basically then you all bailed. abandoned it. I didn't bail. You did. Maston what? tried to take over and he's not He's uh, not yeah. the sort of he's not the guy that was running it. He he's was not just, a natural leader, so he was, we're saying. No, he's a leader, but he was he was the guy. He was the hype guy, but then he tried to be the, you know, the skipper. Oh, yeah. Okay, so JK was the first. Kennedy was He was out, though. Kennedy sucked it up. Yeah, he sucked it up. Right, so Josh Kennedy came in one day so I can't do this anymore. So I what, can't I come to coffee once yeah, a week. Yeah, it's too much of a commitment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got a family. He came in and he was he was upset with the abuse. It was, <laughs> because you, I don't know if you remember, but yeah, you used to, yes. we used to if pick you went a, to a bad place and yes. then you'd get absolutely ripped shreds. Yeah, yes. yeah. and if somebody approached you that was points off. And he, and, he, yeah. he came in and he was almost in tears one day. He was like, I can't do this anymore. I can't handle the pressure. I can't do it. So Kennedy was gone. Steve Armstrong, yep. Sam Butler, Chris Mars and myself. Mm. I've still got my key ring. I've got my key ring on my key. Oh, so wow. We give it, got the coffee cheaters, got the o, yes. OG, OG double star, yeah. which means I'm an OG coffee yeah. member. Double yeah. star is a double legend status on yes. coffee cheaters. Jeez, guys, you've had Can memories I, flooding. I, I tell you what, I, I, remember one, I, I remember one of the um, ones that Masto ripped this place a new bum hole was because of a plant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was <laughs> plant. Had a, there, was, there was something wrong with Very the plant. Very fickle, mate. It yeah. was fickle. <laughs> there, was, there were a lot of reasons to dismiss. <laughs> Correct. There. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've been. I'm in, yeah, full-time man now. And I, people ask, what are you doing for a living? And yeah. I, I, just, I, just, I just talk. Yes, yes, HRT. Yes, I just talk <laughs> SHIT on yeah. all platforms. That's all we do, too. Yeah. yeah. It does good. well. It does Sco, well. Before we let you go, because we've got to get to the news, yes. um, give us a couple of players that we can, uh, bits of gold, a couple of nuggets good out value. that people can chuck into their right. supercoach. So the team. good value guys in Western Australia, right? Right. Yep. Elliot Yo, right. Nat Fife, yep. Oscar Allen. Okay. Yeah, right. Oscar people forget Allen. about him. They're good value, yep. are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. those guys yep. are bargain yeah. buyers. Weirdly wow. enough, Peter Do- Allen. Love and Which one's Peter Allen? Is that the potato guys that used to sing about potatoes? No, 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 he's the, the boy from Oz. Oh, right. When yeah. I still yeah. all the smiles at me, I go, I go to Rio. Rio. Tom Cole is Tom a bargain. Cole. Oh, yeah, and Tommy, yeah. Dom Sheed. Dom Sheed will play every game in the midfield. So there's yes. a lot of West Coast bargains because they were crap last year, right? Yeah, right. sure. Fremantle. you got set and forget guys like Andy Brayshaw. Yeah. Just yep. get him in your team. Yeah, Just yeah, yeah. put him in your team. Yeah. And a couple of point of difference guys. So guys that people might not have. And I'm very West Australian focused here. Yeah, yeah, I thought, yeah, well, cool. we are in Perth. Uh, Nick Nananui. Sean Darcy, the two Ruckman. Yeah. Oh, I think both of those guys could have very big years this year. All and Australian not many years. people could have. I don't know about Nick. Nick's got, well, Nick's got to get on the park. Yeah. Nick's got to get on the park. But it, 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 in fairness to West Coast, there's no other Ruckman at West Coast. So if Nick's playing, mm. he's, pl- he's playing. He's playing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Supercoach.com.au. It it's free to play. 50K up for grabs. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Zinger no. Burgers left, right and centre. I, I, can I win the 50K? Yeah. <laughs> Why yeah, not? sure, why not? I why feel not? like I should be able to. Yeah. yeah. Just, we're, we're not so. able to win anything here. We're not winning Bills, anything. Bills, go Bills. We don't even get tickets to go to the concerts. We get nothing. That's a lie. I've seen your No, concerts. bunyol, bunyol. <laughs> um, by the way, um, you're actually really good at this. Do you want to come back? Or um, is the radio station too bland for you? No, I love the radio station. It's good. I love the show too. I, I listen all the time. I was at Backstreet Boys on the weekend. It was one was of the, one of, if you're talking about concerts, one of the great concerts of all time. Really? I absolutely because sometimes it gets sad when you see people on the decline. Yeah. If you are not man enough to put your hand up and say, "I love Backstreet Boys," yeah. I know every word, so I want it that way. Yeah, <laughs> Backstreet's yeah. back, all right. Bit of honesty. About mate. time we heard someone on this show. Yeah, correct. <laughs> <laughs> correct. Anyway, Supercoach, get involved. <laughs> Supercoach ambassador Will Schofield, everybody. <laughs> everybody. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.